today I'm going to demonstrate the different steps we have to take to do a valve adjustment on a 461-57S. Now this should also uh, take any 461 regulator uh, that you can uh, follow these procedures. There are several steps that we need to take to make sure that we're doing this correctly and I want to demonstrate each one of those steps to you today. So one of the first procedures that we do is we must isolate the regulator. Uh, so we close the inlet valve and close the outlet valve. <coughs> and with the control line, we're going to bleed off any gas that is trapped within the body. Those are the first procedures that you do. Then we move on to loosening our lock nut and loosening our spring adjustment screw so that we take pressure off the spring and we don't have any surprises. So the next thing we do, loosen that, back that off until there's no resistance and we can see that that's loose. The next thing we're going to do is take the eight bolts out of the top plate and remove the spring. So with our spring, all the adjustment out of that, we're going to take this off, remove our spring button. While we're at it, make sure that our little ball bearing is seated in there properly and we take out the spring, set it aside. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take a look down inside and have a little inspection and make sure that everything is okay down there and it does seem to be. So now we're going to remove the side inspection plates. We've already got this one loose. So we'll take this off and make sure that your Tetra seal is properly installed in that groove. Make sure that, that is there and we're going to now do the other one. Now you notice these side inspection plates are not super super tight. They need to be good and snug and secure but remember the tetra seal is what seals these. Okay, like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is remove the bottom inspection plate. There's eight bolts here. <coughs> we're going to loosen these up. And again, ensure that your Tetra seal is seated in that bottom inspection plate in that nice groove there, okay? So our next step is now to 
<coughs> remove the bottom orifice and valve assembly. Now, at this time, we're going to go ahead and loosen that bottom orifice using our thin wall socket. And once we have that loosened, with our fingers, we can go ahead and remove that orifice. Okay, that orifice is now loose and it's sitting on top of the valve. So now we're going to unscrew the valve assembly from the via, uh, uh, diaphragm stud. So now we remove the whole thing and this is basically what we've got now, okay? <clears throat> so now this is the por uh, portion where you would replace the valve assembly and you would remove it from the orifice. So unset the set screw, remove the top portion, remove that, and then you would replace it and reverse that order and put your valve assembly <coughs> back together with your bottom orifice, the edge seat down, and reattach. Now, our next step is going to be putting our, uh, our dope on the orifice and reinstalling it. 